everyone. All right. So you guys were loving my sock workout that I've been posting on um, social media. So I thought I'd give you guys a special one on demand for those of you that are signed up. So all you need is a pair of socks. Um, if you don't have hardwood floor um, or you don't want to wear, wear a pair of socks, you can do paper plates. You can do paper plates on a um, carpet. Um, you can also do paper plates on hardwood. Uh, and if you have sliders, sliders are great too. All right. So let's get started. We're going to get right into this. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to stand, feet about shoulders apart, press into those heels, we're going to press those hands into the ground, you're going to press back into that plank, yes, bring it in, stand up, so let's go, so take it down, press it back, in, and then as we're standing up here, I'm pressing into my heels, squeeze the glutes, we're activating the glutes, we're keeping that core nice and engaged, meaning, we're zipping up, right, we're zipping up that core set, drawing that navel up and in toward that spine, we're relaxing the shoulders, relaxing our jaw. Woo. And remember guys, this is an advanced core workout. If you are not ready for this, that's okay. All right, we will get you there. You keep working on that inner core strength. Keep working on your breath work. Working on that pelvic floor, strength and endurance, and you will get here, I promise. All right, but so, right now, if you're here, you're with me. We're getting that heart rate up. Woo. Core and cardio right here, yes. Four, three, two, let's take it all the way down now. Hold it here, alternating knees up. So I'm flowing, sliding through the movement. Keep the shoulders down, relax. Keep that core nice and engaged. Quads are on fire. Deep core, remember zipping up the core set. Up and in toward the spine goes that navel. Woo, yes. Four, three, two, go back in that plank. Hold it here. So we're going to go right leg out to the side. And that left knee crunch. We'll pick it up. So side, crunch. See, I'm kind of flowing through this right here. Side, then crunch. Side, crunch. Woo! Yes. Four, three, two. Other side, start slow. So we go side and crunch. Now we pick it up. Side, then crunch. Side, and crunch. Woo! I know we're burning. Take a break if you need to. Give me four more here. Three, two, woo, one. All right, let's take a little breather. Stretch it out. It's a quick breather. We're coming right back in. Now twist out. So see, I'm going underneath and underneath, dipping my hips. We're going to make it flow. So you can always slow down these movements too. So you're ready to intensify. Go a little quicker, pick up that pace if you can. We're connecting to those internal and external obliques right here. Think about how they're connected to those transverse abdominals. Right, we don't care about the superficial muscles. I don't care about the rectus abdominis. I'm focusing on that inner core strength. Woo! Yes, ladies, come on. Give me eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Bring both in. Press out. One more set of these. And out. In. Press. In. Press. Four more. Here we take the break. Come on. Three. Woo. Two. And one. Take a little breather here. Drop down. Give me a little stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe bring it forward here. Stretch out those abdominals. Ah, uh, yes. Bring it in. We're not done yet. We're going to flip it over. So onto our back. Always protect the abdominal wall here. Always come out of my side. We're going to come up here. We're going to lift the hips. So you can brace yourself by pressing those hands to the ground. Or you can just bring it up to the ceiling. All right. So we're going to already just alternate the heels coming in and out. Out, in. Out, in. So sometimes my sock kind of sticks a little bit. These probably are the best socks for this. But we're going to keep those hips nice and lifted. Keep the nice squeeze on the glutes here, and then we're going to pick up the pace. So like I said, you can use sliders, you can use a towel, you can use paper plates, you can be on carpet too, do the same thing. Right now I'm focusing the heel side, digging the heel in, and I'm squeezing my glutes, connecting to the hamstrings and glutes. Right where the hamstrings meet the glutes right here, that's where I want you to squeeze, down and out. 
Now I'm going to drop the hips. Drop, lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. And squeeze those glutes right here. So drop, lift, drop, lift. So Corey to stay engaged. All right, so we're in that nice neutral alignment right here. We are connecting our entire abdominal wall. So diaphragm, it starts that core canister. Everything in between, all the way down to our pelvic floor. And we need a nice strong pelvic floor to hold everything up and in. Not only being strength and endurance, we need to be able to relax. Yes, relax and strengthen. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna go to Chandra both and squeeze them in. So this is where I put your hands on the ground, I a little bit out. And squeeze them in and take them out. You can still alternate or you can pick it up with me right here. Come on. And in. Woo! Dig those heels in. Use that hamstring strength. In. Yes. And out. See my booties up off the ground. Don't let the booty drop. Give me four more here. Come on. And in. And three. And in. Last one. Woo! And in. Drop those toes down the ground and lift and squeeze the glutes. All right, now we're going to take little circles here. So we're going to circle that leg out and in. Out and in. Great for those hip flexors. Great for that hip mobility. Keeping those hips up. And we're just circling it. And circle. And circle. Is that down out? Down out. Squeeze it in. Down out. Squeeze it in. If you're not feeling as flexible or mobile today, you can make your circle a little smaller. All right, so you're just kind of right here. You should not feel any pressure in that lower back, guys, okay? If your lower back is hurting, it just means you have a little weaker core, and we need to do more deep core strength exercises before we go into this advanced work. All right, so meaning we got to do more dead bugs. we got to do more breath work, we got to do more heel slides. We really got to focus on strengthening that deep core before we get into more challenging exercises. Woo! Almost there. Give me four more here. Three. Two. Now pulse up the hips right here. Go up, squeeze. Go up, squeeze. We're focusing on the glutes right here. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the glutes. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Woo! Hug the knees in. So releasing any tension on that lower back. We're just rock side to side. So press both hands flat on the ground. Rock it side to side. Stay with me for the stretch. Always stay with me. My stretches are always less than a minute long. And it's really good to stretch out that body after you work out. Drop that one foot down. Other foot comes up. Point and flex. Get that nice stretch in the hamstrings. The calf muscles. Switch it out. Point and flex. Awesome, awesome. All right, hug those knees in one more time. They roll out the ankles. We're going to roll all the way up here. Sit here, crisscross applesauce. Roll the shoulders down and back. Inhale up. Exhale it all out. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. You guys did awesome.